What's up guys, today we're doing a little bit something different. We're going to talk about Disney Plus. Spoilers ahead on today's episode of the Disney News. Alright guys, so today we're talking about Loki. Um, we are now three episodes in to Loki and um, we're going to talk about my opinion of the show and how I think it's integrating well into the Disney parks and how it could change the future of Marvel. Um, so, um, uh, Loki uh, came out three weeks ago uh, and is every Wednesday. And I believe they're doing a eight series, eight season, eight episode season, but I'm I'm still unsure about that. But um, so far, it's been a really good show. Uh, we've been introduced to the Time Variance Authority, uh, basically the time keepers of the sacred timeline that is the MCU timeline that we get. Um, we have been introduced to a ton of new characters. Um, Mobius, who is played by Owen Wilson. Um, uh, we have Loki, who is played by Tom Hiddleston. And a bunch of great actors in Loki. But uh, let's let's talk about how this has been affecting the Disney parks. So, when the first episode first came out uh, at Avengers Campus, we noticed something new. Loki was no longer in his Asgardian leather attire. Instead, he was in a Timekeeper's variant jumpsuit, shackled and uh, guarded by the Timekeeper's guards. Uh, one week later, we saw a new version of Loki. Loki wearing a suit and the variant jacket. Um, this week we have not gotten any new Loki yet. We still have Loki in the town variant jacket. But could we see Lady Loki in integrated into Avengers Campus? Because everyone has a variant according to Loki in this new episode. Um, Um, among other things, Disney Plus just released Luca, uh, the story of a fish boy who wants to get, see dry land and interact with the humans. Um, but f finds out that he too can turn into a human when he touches dry land. Um, I thought that was a great movie. I watched it a couple of nights ago. It was by far one of Disney Pixar's um, best, in my opinion. Like, it's up there with classic Pixar movies. Like, it was, it was good. But, um... That's all we have for today's episode. I, I really couldn't think of what to do for an episode today, so I just decided that we were going to talk about Disney Plus because I had already talked about uh, Magic Kingdom's uh, new fireworks show and everything that's going on over there. But, um, guys, in today's comments, please put down what ride you want to see from Disneyland the most. Because I'm going to have a GoPro, so I'm going to be able to film on rides, and that's going to be my main filming camera. Like, this is the first time I'm using it, so I'm still unsure about it, but I've been testing it. I'm hoping it's 
I can do better filming than I did with my phone at the A Touch of Disney event, but we still got some good content out of that video. But anyway, thank you guys. Don't forget to tune in on Saturday when I talk about the Disneyland Resort. Alright, it's been, been a great day hanging with y'all. Peace.